Hi, I'm Ivy Childers. And I'm Carrie Underwood. And welcome to Garden to Glass. Um, Carrie and I have been friends for so many years. I don't even know how many years, but oh it's a lot. 13, 14, It's 14. a lot. Yeah. It's, 14, yeah, we're, 15. we're coming up on our 15th anniversary, maybe. Um, but we both have a lot of shared hobbies, and one of them particularly is gardening. Um, and she's actually an amazing gardener, and I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> I will say there's nothing better than when people come over and you're like serving dinner, and it's like, oh, you know, th those are my beets, those are my carrots, that's my squash, yeah. and they're like, oh my gosh, like people are so impressed, and it's so beautiful, and it's so healthy. Yeah. Um, I feel like this takes everything to a whole new level. Yeah. When people walk in your door, if you're like, here's this cocktail that yeah. all this stuff came from the yeah. garden, it's like sets off the yeah. the evening it for levels what's, what's going to come. Yes, Levels absolutely. up your entertaining. Impress uh, them even more. That's right. That's that's a great, that's true. Um, I think you should pick out, as my guest of honor, our first ingredient that we're going to make cocktails with Southbound. What would you choose? Um, I mean, I see I see some gorgeous blackberries there. Okay, I love it. That's great. We should definitely do that. Let's do it. Okay, I love that you picked the blackberry because I, I feel like this is the one fruit that kind of brought us out into nature. It's like one of my earliest memories of us being in nature together. Yes. Uh, I grew up outside um, all the time in the country picking blackberries and yeah. anything else. I feel like I'd find persimmon trees and just pick them and eat them. I was probably eating all kinds of stuff. It's amazing I didn't get yeah. sick at some point. It's probably why you're not. I know. I'm <laughs> stomach of steel now. No. Yeah, I, we, we kind of have an ongoing like yearly tradition when the blackberries get wild. We've kind of suited up once a year and It's so much hit. fun. I mean, it's, it's, you know, hot outside. The yeah. blackberries are everywhere out here where we live. Yeah. And, um, it's just a fun time to just get out and you know, you work and you talk and you sweat. You, you sweat. Yeah, you tell each other stories and and I love that blackberries are, are wild because it's full free. It is full free, <laughs> free food. I love free food. We also grow some in the orchard, so okay, it's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. The so ones we grow cool. in the orchard are nice and big, and, and yes. the wild blackberries end up being smaller. So I love to just go pick all of them, and yeah. then I'll just put them in like Ziploc bags and stick them in the freezer, and we literally eat them all year long. One of my favorite memories. I have to share this. Um, when we, I think the first time we ever black very picked together um, you actually found out that day that you were pregnant with Isaiah it was like just the sweetest memory ever and then we went back to the house and made like I think we made up like a jam recipe on the spot and we did like a cobbler and I actually went back to my bakery that Monday and I took all the blackberries that were mine and that's where I created um, a cupcake called the wild child it was a lemon blackberry cupcake and um, such a sweet memory so yes. Anyway, um, so I'm glad we're starting out with that one. Okay, yes. so let me talk to you a little bit about Southbound Tequila. So you know I've been a tequila lover for a long time. Yes. You love tequila too. and Mainly because of you. Oh! Like I feel like I didn't know that much about tequila. Um, I've always like loved wine and yeah. um, I love the... Same you know, the, the beautiful vineyards and yes. stuff like that. Um, but it is nice when, you know, especially when it's hot outside, you're by the pool or whatever, just to have something that's yes. different, um, yeah. that doesn't make you tired. Right. It definitely is for me in, in full on experience with Southbound. I definitely feel great energy and, um, love, love mixing with it. And so what I'm excited about in Southbound is that you can still taste the cooked agave. Um, and then it's got like this perfect balance of pepper and herbs and citrus so it really makes any cocktail you want to make like shine um so it's going to be perfect for whatever you want to do so how do you tequila well i i feel like you're the recipe drink yeah. cocktail expert um i am not <laughs> i keep things very simple yes. i don't like things that are super sweet yeah. um so when i um i do this when i like go to restaurants and stuff too um simplest of simples I love that. Um, yeah, you've always been that way. Yes. And so. I've learned how to be a little less complicated because of your methods. And so, because sometimes methods. I can tend... This is hardly I, a method. Well, simplicity actually is, and you do it well. So, all right. So, what do you do? Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I'm nervous because I feel like I'm <laughs> telling the recipe. But this is the thing person. I never do. I never make 
simple cocktails. So I actually want to know. Okay. Um, I do some ice. I love you're gonna, ice. You're gonna, it's great. <laughs> Step one, love ice. Freeze ice. water. <laughs> it's hard, guys. Great. Um, great. However much you would like. Love that. Um, you can do this one of two ways. Uh, if it's hot outside, these yep. babies are gonna melt. These are just frozen blackberries. Yeah. Um, frozen. They're gonna melt and it, like infuse your drink as they melt and get Ooh. kind of mushy. You could also muddle them if yes. that's your jam. I do have, you have one, a muddler. We can be simple I if mean, you like. Let's just uh, just let's the just way you do it. Simple. Don't dirty a dish. No, no, we can do that. Um, it's already so pretty. Yeah, and then <laughs> some club soda. Yep. This is a popular using. like. Tequila and soda. Yep, tequila soda. You can put um, some lime in there. You can garnish with a little mint. Um, it's really okay. So you are not heavy. You're heavy on the club soda. Oh, I do need to add tequila. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't skip it. What would you recommend? Okay, I'm so glad you asked that. Definitely the blanco. I'm gonna take a little thirsty. I need to make room for the tequila. <laughs> Um, I definitely think the Blanco, um, the classic, the way that it's been crafted is for your standard cocktail okay. and beyond. So I would say Southbound Blanco is going to be perfect for this. Perfect. Um, and I've always been, so you, you. What did I do now? You recipe. Yes. I just. Yes. Psh, yeah. Psh, toss. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've been accused of uh, not putting enough. <laughs> Oh, really? By you. Oh, by me. When That's I make right. you like, oh, yeah. like Bloody Maria's or something like that, you're like, mm, this is really I'm too, light. I'm totally guilty. I, I just, I, you know, I, I just kind of. I like, I like the tequila. <laughs> Boom. There, I feel good about that. Well, that was that was depends on your day. That was the light. Yeah, that's like the light pour. That's like, hey. It's a light drink, and but the good thing is, it's kind of like you can just sip on something yeah. all day long. You don't feel like you are right, um, ready to take a nap. Yeah, but you yeah. can have like seven of these. You can have more. Yeah. If you cook dinner and you don't want to open up a bottle of wine or something yeah. like that, this is what you do, or poolside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I always like to know like how people do their tequila. So uh, I think more people will make that than they'll probably make what I'm about to show you. But um, what I want to show you using similar ingredients um, is really for just like that special home entertainment moment where you're just like, okay, I want a few ingredients. I maybe want to make something in advance. Um, for a few people instead of just like being being behind the bar and mixing up a cocktail, you know every single time somebody wants one So this is kind of like a batched up berry southbound version of um, uh, For a cocktail so can you help me? I can tell me what to do. Okay. Can you hand me that Teach cup? me Yoda. Cut up. Okay, and so you can set it down Bam. and pour pour these in How and much then, is this? That is eight ounces of blackberries and these are uh, fresh mint from your garden. So yes. let's just like throw some in there. Throw some um, in there. We, I love that we have a garden thread. We send each other tips. Yes. We, we, even, we even like garden memes, garden humor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're super nerdy that Sometimes way. Sometimes I wet my plants. <laughs> See, it's funny. <laughs> it's never not funny. Anyway, so that's been really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna, is it okay if you have to muddle? Can you muddle for me? I can muddle. I just take my aggressions out on the berries, right? Yes. Years of aggression can come out. I don't know what it is system. about mint. I need to ask somebody, but it reminds me of my grandmother, and huh. I don't know what that is because I don't remember a whole lot. But there's something about it that every time I smell mint, I think of my grandmother. Was it she would make the best blackberry cobbler too? Did you get that recipe? I did not because yeah. there wasn't one. Oh, yeah. That's how it's she It's a little would bit of roll. this, a little bit of that. Well, I guarantee you it was probably the simplest thing. There was yeah. probably so much butter involved. Yeah, that nobody wanted to really know the truth of that. So, okay, you're doing great. We're, what we're doing is we're, we're really trying to extract the juice. These are juicy. They are really juicy. It's going to be good. Okay, you're not going to really love this because this is a little bit, like, complicated. But um, I know you like to use the whole fruit. Um, you don't like to have to separate things out, but we just really want the juice from this because of the seeds. We don't want to chew, chew our way through a cocktail. The nice thing about like making things together is that like we can take breaks while the other one works and like switch off. Yeah. By the way, cheers to the kids being back in school. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time. 
of the year. Right. That's pretty good. We've got the blackberries. What's that? So I use agave sweetener as my sweetener of choice if I use um, if I use a sweetener. Now this is going to be a cocktail for four people, or one. I don't know your life. <laughs> But we're just gonna do, we're gonna, you, a lot of people make simple syrups, but I've learned it's a lot of work um, to have simple syrup in there. So I just do the agave and the water in the cocktail together. Okay, one ounce of agave, one ounce of lime, uh, two ounces of water, and a half of an ounce of Cointreau liqueur. And six shots. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Six shots. Hang on. Do 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 do. Jeopardy. Put that back. All right. I'm gonna stir this up to get the agave all mixed yes. in. It's too thick. Once you add the ice, it, it it makes its job a little harder. So I do this. She's also the messy kitchen lady. I really am. Well, she she I really am. She makes a big mess and then she comes up at the end and cleans it all up. I'm a <laughs> clean, like, as, clean you as you go. <laughs> I'm excited. But um, really, really, really long time. You know, a lot of ice for dilution, emulsion. Getting See, this it all is there. where you burn your calories. Yes. Before. Fit you... fifty two. Add this to your rotation. <laughs> I feel like there's something there. Here we go. So this is my favorite kind of glass to drink a cocktail in. A Nick and Nora. From what the, is, uh, what's the garnish? We're going to do skewered uh, blackberries with some mint, if you will. I got the blackberries. There we go. Yeah, just pop it in there. In, in it? Yeah. Sorry, I am this little. Perfection. Could you imagine someone coming in? You're cooking them a dinner and then you just pour this up. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna give you the proper one. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely. I don't taste tequila. Oh, I know. That's dangerous. I know it. I know. It's such a good balance for the whole cocktail to shine. You don't want that tequila punching you in the face. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's a really a nice balance. It's worth, <laughs> it's worth the muddle trouble. Thank you. I, that says a lot coming to you. It does, because I'm, I'm the one that's like, it's too many steps, I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, like, right, yeah. No, it's, but it's, if you have a little time in the morning, you could do this in advance and you pop it in your fridge and shake it up before your guests come. I feel like that's a tagline. It's worth the muddle trouble. It's worth the muddle trouble, yes. Put that on a t-shirt, please. Okay, cheers. This is amazing. Thanks for doing this cocktail together with me and the blackberries. Such a special, special fruit between the two of us.